<laughs> We're back. And uh, that excessive heat sticks around. We do actually have the chance of thunderstorms as we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. And the fire danger, uh, well, it remains high. It's just unfortunate. But as that thunderstorm chance moves in, likely gets a, high, a bit higher. We'll talk that here in just a second. But check it out. Beautiful blue skies overhead. Basically what happened this weekend is we didn't get some of those strong steering winds throwing smoke from Canadian wildfires at us. So we wound up staying nice and blue and clear all weekend long. Right now, temperatures sit in the mid 90s. Deer Park, Spokane, Pullman, all at 95. Coeur d'Alene at 93, triple digits out in central Washington. And for that reason, we have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories. Excessive heat warnings in place for places where you're in the triple digits. Heat advisories where you're in the 90s. And those likely continue through tomorrow because of how warm we are going to be. Which brings me to one of my points I'm making right now. I guess I'm making a bunch of points. This one, kind of interesting. Sunrise and sunset times. Sun comes up just after 5.30 a.m. and sets around 8.13 p.m. That's losing about 45 minutes of daylight on either side. You put that together, we've lost about an hour and a half of daylight. You have an hour and a half more time at night to cool down. So instead of staying near 70 like our previous heat wave, we fall back into the 60s and 50s this go round. Even in central Washington, you fall back into the 60s. Tomorrow winds up just as hot though. We're looking at temperatures climbing into the triple digits in Spokane, near it across much of the region. It's just going to be hot. But we talked about the chance of thunderstorms. Basically, this storm sitting off the coast winds up throwing moisture at us. This moisture is actually coming from the southwest. It's monsoonal moisture. You're going, whoa, monsoon? Monsoon just refers to a weather pattern. It actually has nothing to do with rain. And so as that moves in, what we wind up seeing is a little more cloud cover. It's basically moisture moving in. Cloud cover turns into a few isolated storms in central Washington. And as those storms spark, you have the potential for dry lightning and locally gusty wind. That elevates the fire danger. And we'll see that spread into eastern Washington and north Idaho by Wednesday morning. Over the course of the next few days, temperatures remain on the hot side of things. 97 Wednesday, Thursday 94, then back to 97 Friday and staying in the 90s all weekend long.